What's up everyone? I am Jamie with Three Little Goats Homestead and today we are in my office which means we are doing a DIY project. Today we are gearing up for the holidays with some homemade Christmas gifts and one of those gifts that I like to give out and I like to sell at the farmer's market is comfrey balm. Now I do a lip balm and I do a larger stick balm as well that you can use all over your body and the great thing about this recipe is the base recipe is pretty interchangeable. You can change out things like almond oil for olive oil or shea butter for coconut oil for whatever you have on hand and I'll talk more about in a blog post kind of the ratios that you want for hard to soft oils. That way you get the perfect consistency that you want. Now I actually did do a video a few years ago making lotion sticks. So if you wanted to check that out and the original recipe, I will post all of that down below. So without further ado, let's make some comfrey balm. All right y'all, so I have kind of gotten a head start by melting in my beeswax because beeswax seems to take the longest to melt. So to my beeswax, I'm actually going to add in my cocoa butter. And the ingredients I'm using is obviously our beeswax. I'm using some cocoa butter wafers that I get from Crackers Choice. I'm also using some shea butter. I'm using castor oil. And I am using some infused safflower oil that I infused with comfrey earlier this year. So we'll be using some of this in here as well. So, like I said, I've got my beeswax. So now I'm going to add in my cocoa butter wafers. I always prefer to get like these wafers because I find the big chunks are just a pain in the butt to work with. And the little, little nubs that you can get, they tend to just melt and stick to each other. So we are sticking with the cocoa butter wafers. Now you can actually switch this up to whatever butters and oils that you want. I will have a blog post on how to kind of formulate your own recipe to get a nice consistency for your balms and your lotion bars. It kind of doesn't really matter which oils and butters you put in, but it's more of a hard to soft ratio is what you're looking for. But like I said, I will link that down below. All right, then we're gonna add in our shea butter. Actually, I'm gonna add in my castor oil first. I'm gonna wait till very last to add my shea butter, just because if you heat shea butter too high, it will become grainy and nobody wants grainy lip balms, you know? This is gonna solidify a little bit because I took it off the heat. All right, we're gonna take that, and then I'm going to add in my comfrey. All right, I'm gonna let this heat back up so everything can melt and then we'll come back and we'll add in our shea butter. All right, well, my butters and stuff are melting. I'm gonna get all of my containers ready. These are what I am using for my lotion sticks. They are just like little deodorant sticks. They're just a little bit smaller than what like a standard deodorant stick would be. And then of course our lip balm tubes. I will link these down below if you're interested in any of them, but I have a spray bottle in here with 99% rubbing alcohol. And I'm just going to spray everything down to make sure everything is nice and clean and sterilized. And we're going to set these aside and we're going to let them air dry. All right. So all my other stuff has melted down. My lids and my jars are all sprayed and I'm letting them dry. So now I'm going to actually add in my shea butter. And we're gonna let this just melt down from the heat of the oils that are already in there. I don't wanna heat this up any more than I have to. Now 
Now, if you don't have cocoa butter or shea butter, or you don't want to use them because they are kind of more on the expensive side, you can always use things like coconut oil. I just tend not to use coconut oil in my lotion sticks because I don't like the way coconut oil feels on my skin. I want things that are going to absorb a little bit better. But again, it's personal preference on what you want to use. Everything in this recipe can be substituted for something completely different. Whatever is easiest for you to find or what you already have on hand. All right. I'm going to let this just melt and I'll give it a stir every few seconds and I'll bring you guys back when it's all melted. All right, so I've tried to film this like three or four times, but I keep getting distracted by other things. All of my oils and my butters are melted. At this point, if you wanted to add any type of fragrance, you could just check your temperature to make sure it's below whatever your flash point is of the fragrance that you're gonna be using. So I'm gonna set that aside and I've got all of my containers. They're dry and they are ready to go. I'm actually gonna be doing some big ones without any fragrance and I'm gonna be doing some lavender smaller ones because I already have smaller ones in the comfrey. I just ran out of supplies, but now we are doing the big ones. If I can do this without making a big old mess. So. It was pretty cold in my office. The, the propane heater has definitely done its job. So these probably won't harden as quickly as they normally would. I'm just going to gently move these out of the way. So these have all been poured. I'm going to let them sit here at room temperature to start to solidify. I'm not going to do my smaller balms yet because I'm going to be adding a fragrance oil to the remainder. And these guys, there's a chance that they'll probably dip in the middle. So I'll have to top them off with some more of the base. So I'm going to let these harden before I move on to doing these. So if I have to make any adjustments and fill these up anymore, I won't have any fragrances. If you're just doing this all one fragrance or unfragranced, you don't have to worry about this. But I like to make things difficult, so that's what we're doing. All right, so these have all started to solidify. So I have a couple spilt spots that I've just got to clean up around the edge. So these guys will be good to go. I didn't get any major holes in them. If I did, I would just hit them with a heat gun. These little guys are more prone to dipping in the middle, so. I'll probably be able to show you that here shortly. <laughs> but these guys are ready. I am going to let them just hang out and cool off completely before I actually put their lids on and label them. So I'm gonna set these guys aside and we'll start working on the little guys. All right, so apparently I may have recorded a 30 minute conversation with my oldest who is in Hawaii rather than actually filming the rest of this video. So with these smaller lotions, it is pretty much the same exact thing. I just fill them up, make sure that they harden without any dips or air bubbles in it. And if they do, I just hit it with the, what should we call it? What do you call it? The blow dryer or the heat gun. So if you don't get any divots or bumps, that's perfectly great. Cap them up, label them, and you are good to go. So if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. We put out new videos every single week. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.